Hello everybody! This is the last episode of my special series showing you how to shop in a Korean grocery store. It's about frozen ingredients, dried fish, fermented seafood, and Korean kitchenware. Check out the other three episodes too. Yeah, this is a frozen section. I cannot explain to you all these things, just some ingredients that you, you will have to use in Korean recipes, just especially I posted the recipe already. And this is, this is a crab meat. Crab meat is made with fish and starch. So it's a, it has nothing to do with real crab. It's an artificial crab, but sometimes it can kind of easy way you can make a kimbap is a, because it's a strips. Each one is wrapped in like a plastic wrap, and then you can just heat it up in the pan or use a microwave oven, and then use as a filling. We call this a gay masala. Here's the fish cake. This fish cake is a, sometimes it look like a finger, <laughs> and sometimes it look like a paper, right? So like this, fish cake. You can, you can stir fry with soy sauce, sugar, and garlic, and then really quickly you can make a side dish with this. Or sometimes you can make a soup with this. Now, this is the anchovy. All the Mr. Anchovies are here. Dried seafood, many different kinds of dried anchovies by size. This is a large anchovies, large dried anchovies. <laughs> I gotta hurry up because I already told you this, you know, grocery store, a certain time I have to finish, right? So, see, this is a large dried anchovies. Yeah, you guys know, every, everybody knows that. Eh? So when I make a stock, I need this. Small dried anchovies is not going to be tasty. When I make a stock, I need this dry, large dried anchovies. And then I have to get rid of the heads and intestine, and then use this. Remove the head and intestine, and then dip in the gochujang. Where is my hot pepper paste? Gochujang and eat, and with rice. So that can be good side dish. And this side is my favorite. When I stir fry this, yeah. Even my Western friends come over my house and, what is it? Oh, this is dried anchovies, it's tiny anchovies. At least they don't see their eyes here. So nobody's complaining. <laughs> I'll buy this. And next, bugoche. So dried pola with this. You can make a soup. It's Korean hangover cure soup. Bugokgu is a very number one. Last night I drank too much. Oh my God, my headache. And then you make this, this soup with this. And then really your hangover is gone after this. See, it looks like this. Original fish looks like this. This is a pola, dried pola. Separate from flesh from bones. And then you will get all the, you make strips. So only dried, you know, flesh. So this is, a, you can eat it. So I feel like eating now, but I'm going to wait. <laughs> you can make a soup or you can stir fry, or you can mix with the seasoning sauce, Korean side dish you can make. It's a bugoche, bugoche. Say, name is Shredi Dried Pola. Oh my God, I found this fermented anchovies. I just used to make it at home when I lived in Korea, around you know, uh, springtime in May, anchovy season. So really fresh anchovies are sold even everywhere. And I used to buy huge, huge box, and then I make this with a lot of salt mix. That's it. And I put it in the earthenware crack. And then around several months later, all look like this. And then I make all kinds of, you know, some green onion kimchi and kimchi I add everywhere. I couldn't find this kind of real fermented fish, but today, first time I came to this grocery store, I found this. Wow, amazing. I'm going to buy this one, imported from Korea. And this is seojat, salty fermented shrimp. When I make kimchi, I use this. Fermented fish, shrimp, and anchovies. And these are rice cake. And rice cake is, you know, tteokbokki, spicy rice cake, famous spicy rice cake. You can make it at home. You buy this ingredient. Now just hot pepper paste and add some anchovy stock and then stir fry. 
Oh, delicious, delicious tteokbokki. You can make it. So this is like a cylinder shape, cylinder shape, and then tteokbokki. And sometimes sold sold like a little small tiny balls like this. Same. So you can you can use this one or this one. This is a oval shaped sliced rice cake. When can you use? You can make a rice cake soup with this. So rice cake soup is a called tteokbokki. So you can pick it up. And then you use this a half amount for maybe two people, three people, and then left over, keep in the freezer. And the freezer maybe up to one month, no problem. Tanmuji, tanmuji, so yellow pickled radish. So when can I use? You can make a seaweed rice rolls, it's a kimbap. When you make a kimbap, I always use this. And sometimes, you know, you can, they can sell this way, like a whole radish. This is a kind of a daikon, daikon. And also, it's a pre-cut for making kimbap easily. These are tofu, medium firm, and soft tofu, and also firm tofu. So I usually use medium firm when I make pan-fried tofu. But you can use, you know, firm. When you make, you know, soup or stew, you like to enjoy kind of softness, and you can use a soft tofu. And there is, I'm looking for sundubu. Where is sundubu? Oh, yeah. Here you go. <laughs> it says, soon tofu, soon I'll be back. It says, <laughs> S-O-O-N. Soon tofu, very soft tofu. When you make spicy soft tofu stew, sundubu jjigae, you can make really nice sundubu jjigae at home. So how you use? You just cut it with a knife in half and just squeeze out and then go into your delicious you know, stock and boiling stock, and then make it sundubu jjigae, easy. This is, how much is it? 129, so cheap. I just walk through all these grocery stores, uh, but there are tons of things that I like to introduce you more. But I like to focus on uh, cooking ingredients, essential cooking ingredients this time. But I'm going to just introduce just a little bit of kitchenware, so you guys are interested in earthenware crack or something like that. This store has, I like to show you. Earthenware pot is a tukbegi, it's called the tukbegi. You see here. So I make all kinds of denjang jjigae and all the time I make this. And this is a price is only eight nine nine. this thing. You can put it this on any like a stove, gas stove or electric stove and just boil and sizzling. If you need a lid and you can use any lid from any pot, your pot. So this is tukbegi sauce like this. Yeah. <laughs> and also this is a soup, all made with earth. You can put this in the direct fire, really hot soup. I put this here and then serve. Earthenware crack. I have a bunch of uh, these guys at home. I make all kinds of things, you know, fermented fish sauce, doenjang, gochujang, I use this. Let's see, how much is it? Well, this is $33, you know, kind of expensive. But if you have one, it will be good, you know, at home. Also, people think that, oh, cool, you know, so what is it, you know, Korean earthenware crack? The Koreans love to enjoy grilled pork belly at home. So you can use this when you have a samgyeopsal, you know, pork belly or Korean barbecue party. You can buy this, you know, butane gas here. Come here, you, what are you doing? You, she's busy shopping. I'm going to pay and then I'm going to share this with my readers. And I hope you guys enjoy this tour. But while I'm walking through and then I just still a lot of things I have to explain to you. Korean cookie candies, and also pre-made some food, you know, something like that. If I have another chance, I'd like to make a nice, cool video again. So anyway, I hope it is helpful. Enjoy, Enjoy your, your shopping. shopping. See, See you next, next time. time. One Bye. more time, one more time. Ready, go. Enjoy, Enjoy your shopping. shopping. See, See you next time. time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> That's a pay.
I'll take the spicy. Spicy? Uh, this one or? No, he's a spicy. Huh? All the way from. Yeah, you can't choose all the way. Yeah. <laughs>